Hi, I'm Suzanne, one of the instructors from the Computer Workshop. Today we're going to talk about creating quizzes using Microsoft Forms. I've connected to my Office 365 account and I'm sitting on the Forms landing page. To create a new quiz, we will click the drop down arrow next to the New Form button and select New Quiz. I'm going to give my quiz a title and you can give a description for your quiz but it's not a required it's optional you can also insert an image related to your quiz so I'm going to select the insert image button and you'll notice there are three different locations that we can acquire images from the first one is a Bing search the second is images that are stored on OneDrive and the third would be to upload an image from somewhere else. I'm just going to do a quick search, select the picture that I want, and then click the Add button to insert it into my quiz. Now we're ready to start adding our questions. I'm going to click the Add New button to create my first question. You'll notice that we can select from Choice, Text, rating or date type questions. We'll start with a choice question and this will be a single response although you'll notice there is an option for me to turn the slider on for multiple answers. So I'm going to add my options. There are two suggested but we can actually add more options if necessary and you can use the tab key to tab from one location to another or you can actually just um, click on the option that you're interested in. If you want to add more options click the add option button. If you add an option and you no longer want to use that option you can simply click the delete button to the right of that option. Once I have all my options in place, I can click the check mark to the right of the correct answer so that it will be graded. I can also add points for each question and if it's a required question, I can turn the slider on so that it will be required. So I'm going to add five points and I'm going to turn on required. I'm going to add another question and this time we'll do a text question. So we're looking for the state bird. Now I wanted to show a text question because um, in the first section is where the answer would be posted but to add correct answers you need to make sure that you make this this is going to be case sensitive so you need to make sure that you make um, answers that would be uppercase and lowercase so that the correct answer can be um, recognized either way. Notice that it automatically assigned five points for me and it automatically made this a required question since that was something that I turned on with the first question. So I'm going to do another question and this time I'm going to skip over rating and use date. I'm not going to use a rating on a quiz. So my question is just simply what is today's date? And then I realize this should have been added at the beginning. But this is a perfect example of um, an opportunity to show you that I can actually move the questions around. So I can select the up arrow and just move this to the beginning so that it's the first question that we see on our quiz. Now you'll notice my quiz has a total of 15 points but I want to tell you something that's interesting about working with dates. Even though I have points assigned to dates there's no option for me to create a correct answer and so the date question even if I put today's date it doesn't know what the correct answer is and so it will be wrong every single time. So I'm going to remove the points from this so that it's only choosing 10 points. I just want to collect the day that the quiz was taken. Okay, so now I have my quiz uh, ready to um, check. I want to preview it. 
and so I'm simply going to click the preview button in the upper right hand corner. I can test my questions. So I'm just going to fill in the answers here real quickly. When I'm ready, I can submit my response. You'll notice that you can test your quiz for both computer or mobile. So I have multiple options here. And once I've taken the quiz, while I'm previewing it, I can still view the results. So I can see which questions I got right or got wrong. You'll see that the student is able to do that immediately as well. Once you've completed previewing your quiz and you're ready to share it, then you can click the back button. If you need to make additional changes, spelling corrections, anything of that nature, it saves immediately so you can go back in and make adjustments to the quiz. When you're ready to share, you will be able to um, proceed from that point by clicking the share button. I'm going to talk about sharing in another video, so stay tuned for that. And as always, if you like what you saw today, click like and subscribe. Thanks.